some good news out of Washington that could mean a step in the right direction for veterans in the Lake Charles and Lafayette areas. The U.S. Senate recently passed their budget for the 2014 fiscal year, which included funding for a permanent veteran affairs clinic in Lake Charles. An amendment by U.S. Senator Mary Landrieu was submitted to help prevent possible delays and help secure future funding. A change made back in 2012 by the Congressional Budget Office requires that veterans' administrations that they pay for a full 20 years of rent up front for health clinics, raising the cost from $126 million to nearly $1.4 billion. In a press release, Senator Landry said, quote, veterans across the country, including 20,000 in, in South Louisiana, have faced unacceptable delays in these health clinics, unquote. Currently, the VA Mobile Clinic in Lake Charles, which opened in May of last year, provides full services to veterans. But veterans like Mr. LaFleur say a permanent building is still needed. With this one here, it's okay, but we need some. We need a clinic here, and we need it. The vets needs it, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna have one pretty soon. So, let's hope it's pretty soon. Okay. I transferred with them from Jennings to here. Everything that a big hospital, VA hospital, do, they try to do it here. So, not try, they do it here. Last month, Senator Landry and Congressman Charles Bustani Jr. introduced the Keep Our Commitment to Veterans Act, which will authorize the Lafayette Clinic to stay open, as well as the proposed clinic in Lake Charles.